Hi, welcome to today's live streaming from Facebook. It is June 16, 2016. Today is a Wednesday and in Hawaii it is about 2 p.m. One of the unique things about live streaming is connecting with people all over the world, <clears throat> all of them having different time zones in which they're able to tune in. And it's so wonderful that Facebook provides the opportunity to uh, record this and to be able to share this at a later time and people can watch it at a later time. So welcome Yvonne, welcome Katie. So great to have you join us here today. Welcome Kayla and beautiful baby. Good to see the thumbs up. So I'm grateful that all of you have joined us here today. I was preparing for today with the, um, you know, in checking in with what, what should I offer for today? And I did not receive any direct response, which is a bit unusual. Normally the response is pretty obvious. Um, you know, teach this, plan on this, focus on this. But today I didn't receive anything direct. And so I, I asked, um, all right, well, if there's nothing direct, then uh, is it okay if I do soul readings? And I got a yes. And so today we're all blessed to open things up to soul readings. And a welcome, Pat. Thank you for joining. Thank you for the questions. <coughs> uh, and Yvonne's already asking questions, so you'll be the first one I answer in a little while, Yvonne. And Katie says, Aloha, Master Paul. So blessed and happy to be here with her dog, Mr. Ping, and with uh, Mr. Ping's buddies, Alistair and Hachi. You guys hang out quite a bit with those two. They must be really good friends at this point. Ah, beautiful Catalina's with you and Kayla and Christina. Wonderful. Welcome to all of you. Thank you all for joining me here today. So it's going to be a good day. Hopefully more people will join. Uh, make sure that you share even right now because sharing right now you can just say Master Paul is live right now ask soul questions and other people will come to join us and get some of their questions answered okay so let us first connect to heaven we'll invite in all the holy beings and clear the <coughs> clear the room so to speak for our guests welcome Margaret thank you for joining dear beloved spiritual teacher Father, Master Shah, all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, up to Master Shah's original soul standing. I love you, I honor you, I respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask you to please offer your blessings and guidance here today for these soul readings. Please offer the highest, best, the most relevant, important wisdom, not only for the person that is asking the question, but for all those that are listening, watching, and reading, all those that will watch us in the future. Please provide whatever information through my mouth that can serve them well. Dear my heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, respect you, and I bow down to you. Please be with me at this time. We ask for forgiveness for all souls for this and all lifetimes that we have brought harm or suffering to any souls anywhere in any lifetime. We deeply and sincerely apologize for us and our ancestors if we have brought harm to you physically, emotionally, financially in business if we have brought harm or suffering to you or your loved ones in any way we deeply regret those choices in those lifetimes and we have learned our lessons we are dedicated to serve humanity and to be better souls now so we ask for your unconditional forgiveness if you have brought harm or suffering to us we offer you our unconditional forgiveness and we release you entirely and completely of any karmic debt that you may have with us so we thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is a very simple forgiveness practice. And I don't actually personally like using the word practice. <clears throat> um, it, it sounds like it's not authentic, you know, when you just add the word practice to it. And I'm still looking for a better way to state it. It's a forgiveness connection. I will start using that one um, because it really is. It's not just something that is rote or repeated uh, that's heartless. We want to make sure that when we ask for forgiveness, we truly recognize it and we truly are authentic about that. So again, welcome Margaret and welcome Stephanie. Thank you for joining here today. 
So we have invited all the holy beings in. So I encourage you also to invite your, uh, your ancestors, the soul of your heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. And <clears throat> when I do some of these soul readings, it's important to sit with them and to um, and to receive the highest um, vibration that the readings can offer. I'm double checking the quality of my feed. Okay, so um, Yvonne says she has a black screen and no sound, so it's a technical issue on her side. So, so welcome, Pat. Welcome, Crystal. Thank you for joining. Today is an open forum. You can ask uh, questions on any aspect of your life where you're finding a blockage. <clears throat> this can be physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. It can be soulmate. It can be related to finances or business. It can be related to husbands, children. It can be related to your pets. It can be related to that one person at work that you can't seem to get along with that well. Soul guidance <coughs> is based on the understanding that everything has a soul. Now some of you might already know this, but I also often speak for those that will be watching this at some point in the future. Soul guidance is information from the soul world. Master Shah teaches that everyone and everything has a soul. That includes a relationship between you and a significant other, you and a co-worker. That relationship has a soul. And that relationship most likely has occurred at other times. <clears throat> and in this understanding, in this relationship understanding, there is a recognition that if there's blockages, then it's likely that those blockages occurred prior to this life experience. So a soul reading allows us to access the records in heaven, to look at the history of when those occurrences might have happened. And they offer insights and enlightenment, they lighten up the experience so that we can have a greater understanding in our current day how these <coughs> impact us or how these can impact us negatively. Also, you might be having something wonderful happening in your life. You might have the love of your life. You might have a wonderful relationship with um, you know, one of the children, one of the coworkers, the boss, somebody that you just adore. It could be um, that you are very financially blessed. It could be something truly wonderful. And maybe you'd like to know why with something like that as well. So soul readings are not just for the unpleasant aspects or the aspects where we're stuck. You can actually become uh, uh, enlightened about these other aspects and receive insights for which you can offer greater gratitude. Very often, according to Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, at least 50% of the blessings that we have in our life is as a result of our ancestors, which is why he puts such a great emphasis on always honoring our ancestors. So welcome, Christine. Thank you for your beautiful comments. And welcome, uh, Cynthia Marie. <clears throat> so. I will now uh, back up to answer the question for our beloved Yvonne. Hopefully she's got her sound and visual back. <coughs> so she is asked, <coughs> excuse me, who am I and what is her major soul task? So please go ahead and ask whatever questions you have while I go ahead and answer this. They're the soul of Yvonne, the soul of Yvonne's heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, the soul of Divine Tao Source and Master Shah. The soul of this question, who am I and what are my major tasks for our beloved Yvonne? We love you and we appreciate you, respect you. We ask that heaven please reveal this information in whatever way is most appropriate for Yvonne at this time that she receives the necessary guidance, wisdom, and insights that will serve her and her soul's intention and journey on this lifetime. <coughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. How 
This is the Divine. My dear Ivan, you ask a question, who am I? You are an aspect of me that is perfect in every moment of your existence. There is no part of you that is not of me. The vast majority of my creation, humanity, if you will, see themselves as separate. They ask questions like, who am I? The reality is, you are not an I as much as you are a we. We are one, you have heard billions of times. Why has this statement never receded from the consciousness of humanity? Simply because truth does not disappear. Oneness is why you are here which is the answer to your second question your task is to continue to assist in bringing all souls to this recognition of oneness you are one you are not I and your task is to bring all souls to oneness this answer applies to each soul and those who honor this answer move diligently into this truth and recognition and move to accomplish this soul mission will have true and great rewards of heaven this is the divine how 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 thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> so I hope Yvonne that you are back and able to listen to that answer I'll scroll back down, see what other questions might have popped in here. Okay, so Pat has said, Master Paul, I would appreciate uh, an answer to why she has hearing loss in both ears. Okay. Dear the soul of Pat JD, dear the soul of uh, Pat Seven's Teams Guides, Angels and Saints, dear Yen Wan Ye. Could you please open the Akashic Records to assist with this answer for Pat as to why she has hearing loss in both ears. Please offer whatever guidance as appropriate to assist her in transforming this blockage in the best and highest way possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How for our beloved Pat? All human beings are energetic vehicles. This means that they are a soul that has manifest into a physical embodiment and is given life through the medium of chi, energy. In your body there are blockages in the jowls. The upper jowl has a lot of clutter that disallows free flow. The lower jowl is not strong enough and boosted consistently with the chanting or practices for the seven soul houses and specifically for the three jowls and the Y jowl. 
practice of this daily and practicing the near hand far hand techniques in Master Shah's book so my body medicine for this will gently and consistently reverse the hearing loss it is accumulated and therefore an accumulation of effort to reverse it will assist you we believe this information will serve you well ha 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you for that question Pat thank you divine Tao source for these answers <coughs> so let's continue down to see what we have so Christine said I would be grateful for a reading what is my next step on my soul journey okay here the soul of Christine Langnickel, her heavens teams, guides angels and saints, her soul, uh, the divine Tao source, and Master Shah. Could you please provide the information for the next step for Christine <coughs> on her soul journey? Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you, hey, uh, you, how? my dear Christine I am your soul borrowing this one's mouth to serve you and me on our journey truly we have no next step that is predominantly required for us to do your role and my role is one of service. When you have stress, when you worry, when you think too much about how you will do this when we are not serving, it is in those times when we lower our frequency and diminish our ability to maintain higher vibration which in essence is serving the whole the all our role our task is and has always been to be the light to be the reflection of the divine's purity and love in each and every moment so my statement to you my beloved one is to be that light as much as possible to curb the fears worries and overthinking relax dear one it is just a physical experience and we will have many more and there is truly no reason to have any of those experiences emotions etc in the light that we operate in because we are never separate from our beloved creators love and it is the consistency of this remembering and the honoring of this truth in each moment that we are not aligned to it that brings you and me the highest service your next step is to maintain these truth and wisdom higher and better to the entirety of this life experience this is your soul how 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 thank you thank you thank you I will adopt that wisdom as well it's a beautiful message from your soul Okay, so Stephanie has a question. <clears throat> Master Paul, grateful to join you today. Do you have any guidance on meeting my true love soon? You guys never ask easy questions, do you? Always ask the tough ones. <clears throat> Good thing I just asked the slow world because I certainly 
don't want to be the one that answer those. <laughs> okay, so dear the soul of Stephanie Cannon, dear the soul of this question about meeting her loved one. Could you please reveal any information at this time for Stephanie that is highest and best for her to hear? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, you. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, you, 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 yeah. Hey. How? This is your soul. How do I share with you what we must do to align to the love that we yearn and desire for? There is a simple answer, but then again, there are long answers. The simple answer is true, but the ability to stay in that simple answer is what makes it a long answer. The simple answer is fully align the entirety of your being to the Divine's love which is all you need. Then the yearning for love outside will dramatically diminish and the right one will naturally enter your field. You will have unlimited love to offer that one because they are attracted to the love that you built your foundation on by aligning to the divine the high thoughts. The difficulty is in the remaining in that place of love, which happens when there is a loss of job, a glass that breaks on the floor, a automobile that stops working, a old boyfriend that reminds you of the unpleasantness of the old relationship, etc., etc. It is these areas that knock us out of that place of love. The ability to receive for you and me is in worthiness. It is in I am enough regardless of anything external. It does not matter that I have a child. It does not matter that I live with mom and dad. It does not matter that I do, do or don't have a job. It does not matter because I am not aligning to someone that this matters to. I have love and I accept love. It is this detachment from self-judgment, self-criticism, and the allowance of self-worth and self-value that reverses the current pulse that is creating the lack that you currently feel. Continue to purify those areas that create a lack of self-worth. Do not think so much about what somebody won't want. Change the frame. I only attract people, men or significant other, that is appreciative that I have the lifestyle that I do that is judgment free of 
where I am in life. They only appreciate my heart and what I bring to them. This shift in framework shifts what you are attracting as well. <clears throat> Find the areas where you are inhibiting this love from coming to you. I return to complete this statement to aligning fully and completely to the Divine's heart is the solution. The application of these aforementioned statements is what will assist you to remain aligned to the Divine's heart. And love will come. This is your soul. I love you. And I'm so grateful for your service on our journey. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, Jyota. Uh, Crystal asks a question. I uh, would love to have guidance and wisdom to help me start a healthier lifestyle. I feel if this aspect of my life is better, I could serve humanity better. Example, eating better. Okay, let's find out. Guidance to start a healthier lifestyle. <clears throat> You're the soul of Crystal. And this question around guidance to start a healthier lifestyle. What uh, steps could be implemented that are practical, doable, and um, uh, able to be maintained for Crystal? For our dear Crystal, you need a coach. You need someone that you have to report to. A coach that monitors but doesn't judge, co uh, supports and uplifts and nudges you forward. When you make choices such as fruit in the morning instead of cereals, etc. And sometimes you just want that bacon or that egg or that cereal or something that you deem might not be of value to you then you make an agreement one or two days a week you will allow yourself to have that and the other days you choose and fulfill yourself with fruit you can apply this wisdom for meals and snacks it requires foresight of course having those kinds of things around because the family members are not interested in those kinds of things most of the time it obviously creates a dilemma so what you can do is for example with the snacks if that is all that is available then that is all they will eat and if they wish to have their junk then they have their allowance or other ways of earning money and they can go out and spend their money on that junk so part and parcel of this is to make a wholesale shift step by step in the household don't do it all at once do it based on a meal first adjust one meal per day and the snacks in terms of exercise you need friends to exercise with possibly other mothers there are groups check meet up and other mother groups that exercise they have scheduled and specific times and sometimes they bring kids these groups exist and make it possible to accomplish your responsibilities and your exercise at the same time alternatively you could just make agreements to walk up and down the streets in your area with those neighbors etc that want to form this kind of a exercise structure Basically, you are the individual or kind of individual that needs 
somebody with you to prod you along and then you'll do better this is what we recommend how 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 thank you thank you thank you okay so hopefully that helps you Yvonne says thank you divine and master Paul for the clear message um, Crystal says I often feel tired and would like better health to keep up with my two-year-old <laughs> yes I understand I don't have a two-year-old but I have read many stories and talked to many people uh, Aloha Renee welcome and uh, he says I would be honored to ask for a reading on whether I should pursue a job or business thank you okay to the soul of Renee Protaccio Renee's Heaven's Teams Guides Angels and Saints the soul of this question uh, if the answer is yes then what is the highest and best direction for Renee to take thank you thank you thank you hey la 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 hey yeah 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 hey yeah hey yo yo hey Hey uh, yo, hey uh, yo, hey uh, yo, hey uh, hey. For our dear Renee, you enjoy the freedom that you currently have, but you also recognize the need for additional financial blessings. You should take stock of every specific skill set you have, list the job and then line out the specific skill sets then break those down to for example you might say accounting but then you could say as a breakdown excels in Peachtree and uh, Microsoft Excel Quick, Quick, uh, QuickBooks etc this would be a subset of the skill of accounting do this with all of your skills break down the subsets identify the patterns you will see where a subset runs through three or four of these skill sets total it is the pattern that will reveal your highest level of skill set then sit down with others that uh, that have the ability to brainstorm and think about how this set of skills can be applied to be a personal consultant to others for something that those skills apply in their particular role or position that could be existing businesses that need a specific set of skills with dot 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 you need to create a role that you make yourself the professional to help them resolve that particular blockage area where they are weak at you will discern it and, def and define it as you go through this process your wife has the skill set to help you create and sustain the business and you can um, do well with this as you flesh out how it will actually look you may have to um, do a couple of jobs before you flesh it out until the light bulb comes on you say aha I got it this is where I will specialize allow yourself six months and several jobs in that period of time to figure this out you could be uh, financially rewarded quite well do not minimize your worth to the individual is the amount of money you will save them by your skill level how 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 thank you thank you thank you okay so hopefully that assists you Renee so Katie I'd be honored to receive a soul reading on the power and significance of creating art on, on the significance creating art has on her soul journey okay welcome Allison welcome Dove welcome Tatiana welcome Kavita and welcome Anne Marie welcome Ari welcome Wakir and welcome Pamela had to scroll through to see all of you and say hi okay Katie
for our dear Katie. Whimsical is the first word that I hear. Your soul journey is boundaryless and art serves you to allow that boundarylessness to prosper. It is the necessity for your soul journey to have this to be able to be the free being you are. It is why you so relish it because it represents the highest level of that in the moment. We recommend that you do more of it outside, that you incorporate watercolor, and that you have soul healing watercolor classes. You can charge a minor fee. You can offer divine healing hands blessings to clear the mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs around people's ability to create beauty. There are different ways you can play with it. It might only be a two-month thing that you do. But for you, it is the in-the-moment ability to remain boundarylessness is how it serves your soul journey. How? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so Cynthia Marie, I'd be honored to get a soul reading about my finances, business, and guidance, and how it may help humanity. Okay. It always helps if you offer additional information on the business, uh, what it is, etc. Vague questions get vague answers. So in the future, try to ask specific questions. We'll do the best we can with this. <coughs> to the soul of Crystal, Crystal's, uh, Cynthia, excuse me, Cynthia. Cynthia's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saint. The soul of this question around her business finances and how it can serve humanity. Could you please gather whatever information around this subject and assist? Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you. How? You may not know, but people trust your intuition and insight more than you would guess. You often speak and things come out of your mouth and their light bulbs come on and they say that's great I will do it and it works most of the time because people trust you you have the opportunity to assist their soul journey through the sharing of the forgiveness practice most of the people that you work with are women and mothers and they have children husbands and a great deal of strife of varying degrees in their life the forgiveness practice is an ointment that will soothe them when you are not there to offer advice. Teach them this and you will change their life. Teach them to teach their children and you will change the family. The rewards will come to your business and your finances as a natural occurrence of lightening and bringing more love to those environments through this very simple sharing. Teach them about love, peace, and harmony. Teach them to place it in their house. The 
environment of their house will become less volatile and hostile and that peace will come back to you in the messages through them they will not put together that that is what happened so you must remind them that this is why things have changed you must assist them as they are willing to receive but not until then just be the listener and when they are ready give them uh, the pieces this will assist you on all levels of your request ha 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 thank you thank you thank you okay so pat dog on in thank you for the guidance and helping me to transform you are so welcome and christine says thank you master paul for your reading i'm very moved there were some disturbances in the sound maybe my internet connection i will listen to later on <clears throat> yeah hopefully um it was just on your end i apologize if it was anything on my end and dove says aloha 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 welcome dove hi jennifer nice to see you says tatiana kayla says dear master paul my mom Christina would like to know why she feels a slowdown with her roofing business okay to the soul of Christina darling Christina's roofing business the soul of the conditions prevalent in her market around the roofing business and why things may be slowing down if it's an external condition what it is if it is a, a individual or business related source please reveal what it is also please reveal any guidance wisdom or insights that can bring additional blessings uh, additional um, success faster uh, thank you to the soul of any um, guidance wisdom from my marketing teams from heaven's marketing teams could you please offer any guidance wisdom and insights at this time if needed or necessary thank you hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, yeah hey yeah uh, hey yeah uh, hey yeah uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey hey uh, hey hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, I'm still getting some information. So there's a really unique thing happening it's like a karma between your business and the state or the city and it's like this barrier like a cloud between them and i can't quite figure out what that is I'm hearing it's the state and I don't know if there's any logic to it um, it may have to do with some kind of laws on the books or insurances uh, but there's something happening at a legislative level that has shifted the energy that you're accustomed to and so um, let me see what the solution is so ask heavens um, heavens um, lawyers and the soul of the state 
that you're in, the soul of the counties, the cities that you're in, the soul of any of the um, any of the insurance and or legal aspects that are impact that could potentially impact your business uh, to come to a soul conference have a soul conference with them let them know that your service is pertinent and important to the individual let them know that the financial blessings you receive are, are to support you your family and to serve humanity and then uh, use love peace and harmony is what I'm hearing the soul song turn it on in all of these souls all the way back to the individual and and uh, do soul conferencing first and then do forgiveness practice amongst all of them let them know that your purpose is to serve and just chant like every day 15 20 minutes maybe even twice a day and it should clear the cloud is what I'm hearing so let me know how that goes okay how And Stephanie says, thank you, Master Paul, you are welcome. Thank you, Master Paul, for the teaching, says Kavita, you are welcome. Uh, Ari, uh, hello, Master Paul, my question is, what blockage is preventing people to come to our workshops? I teach with Stephen uh, Call. Uh, thank you, Master Shah, thank you, Master Paul, thank you, Divine. Okay. To the soul of the workshops that uh, are in the uh, Boulder area, with Stephen and Ari and all of the healers in the area. What is preventing people from coming to the workshops and what can be done to gather more souls? For our dear Steve, the title, Healing Through Humor, will serve him well. The area that you are in is active. They are quasi-spiritual. They are spiritually interested if it makes them look better, feel better, or is the flavor of the day. The market that you are trying to connect to needs to diversify. The master says to go out. In your guy's case, Go out to those places that humor can bring healing. In this environment, Stephen's story and the story of Divine Healing Hands can be gently revealed. The forgiveness practice and accolades and humor around it can bring lightness and expression, interest at the same time. This will eventually bring people to the temple. To be at the temple and to call people to the temple without having the right positioning is not going to assist. The right positioning is going to people for their reasons. There are many in your area that need this, but you must go to those that are sick, those that have mind and emotional blockages. Form groups for like a like. Alcoholics Anonymous, but do it for the condition of depression. Do it for the condition of anxiety. And then employ the healing with humor aspect. You will find a balance, but it begins by going out to these not so mainstream places 
and going outside the box a bit on the way the subject is brought up. Be more human and expressive of how this has changed life. A uh, little bit here, a little bit there. Employ it with these, for example, that are depressed, etc. And the results, of course, will be extraordinary. And the, the opportunity to grow everything will commence. This is our suggestion for you at this time. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So hopefully that assists. Sorry, keep me posted. Okay, so walk here. Um, Aloha, Master Paul. Thank you. Love you. Love to receive guidance for my immediate future on the aspects of life that is <clears throat> most appropriate at this time to receive guidance from heaven. Okay. This will be the last one I'm able to answer at this time. <clears throat> um, because of the hour, I have a feeling Facebook usually cuts me off on the hour. and I just, I apologize for all those I'm not able to, to get to. Uh, I'll try to give you a quick answer, Tatiana. For our beloved Wakur, self-love is of key importance for you. This would look like being vigilant in any self-talk that is not uplifting, loving, and supportive. This would look like saying no to that cousin, sister, mother, friend that asks you to do something that you really don't want to do. Why is this self-love? Because you are doing something so that you are not, so that you are still accepted and appreciated and you should be honoring yourself trust me when I say they will find an alternative you just say today I have other things that I need to take care of it's not something that I can help you with now you say it lovingly with compassion but you honor yourself these little ways in which you honor yourself can then be applied to doing something for yourself being outside, making a flower-laden card, doing something with those that you love, surfing online, whatever makes you happy. Do things that uplift your heart, remove self-talk, and honor yourself. The rest will move forward as appropriate. You are blessed. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tatiana. Last question. What I'm hearing, Tatiana, is probably around three months. Um, I don't know, that's, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, you're in the school industry, so maybe that's when the new, new semester start up. Um, but I'm also hearing you're not doing authentic enough forgiveness practice, that you're still in a place of self-righteousness. Um, so maybe be a bit more proactive in that arena. Um, you know, you have a lot of talent and value and it's hard for you to see other people's lack of talent and constant uh, doing things substantially different than you would do it. Uh, but it doesn't mean that, that everybody's perspective does not have value. So you want to find the middle ground and do more forgiveness around your inability to, um, to have more compassion for other people's perspectives and other people's ways of doing things. 
and um, uh, yeah, there's there, there's some more work there. That's one of the reasons why things haven't come forward yet. Okay, so hopefully that assists you. Um, okay, so let me see if I didn't acknowledge anybody else that came in. Archana, thank you. I'm sorry I didn't uh, didn't see you until now. And Katie says, thank you, Master Paul. Thank you, Heaven, for the beautiful message. I often doubt the importance of creating art in my life, but when I do, it feels very aligned and free, as you have stated. Wonderful. Renee says, mahalo, thank you. Uh, yeah, you've, you've got some good insights there. Alicia Jade, thank you for joining. You, uh, whoever came in late, of course, can watch this after it completes. And then Cynthia Marie comments. Um, <laughs> Mr. Bing, you're so funny. Uh, I'm so sorry, Alicia. We're going to have to to save this for a different time. Um, if anybody wants private soul readings, of course they can contact me. Um, I have my website up at the above my video here. I've listed my website information and, and it lists my personalized uh, soul readings and honor fees. I can tell you they're well worth it, and uh, and I also offer blessings. So um, I want to thank all of you for joining me today. It's just been so wonderful having you. Welcome, Esther. I see you just came in. Welcome, RD. Thank you for joining. I thank you all. You just helped me go over the 20 people mark, 20 live people. Um, that was my goal to, to keep lifting this up. I, of course, want to get to 100 live. You are so blessed because you, there's enough time to take care of all of you. The early bird gets their question answered. So tomorrow we will do this again. I will open it up to more soul readings. That seems to be the most popular item uh, that everyone loves to come. So if you do need uh, individual guidance, make sure you check in with me. And um, but please share. So at the end of this, hit that share button. And uh, if you don't already have the live feed, then I believe I'm told anywhere there's a follow button uh, after I finish this. And the follow lets you be advised when I go live. So I'm very, very, very grateful uh, for being here for this hour. Truly appreciate all of you and all that you do. I'm going to make one request. Some of you have already seen my request. I've actually messaged you privately, but I want to make it out loud right now. I just redid three of the videos on my website. I actually paid a company to go get a, a thousands of hits, uh, but I don't have really very many comments on them. So I'm asking all of you to go to my website, uh, which is asoulhealer.com, that's listed above me here, and, and check out my, my three main videos, uh, three or four are on my, on my site. And um, uh, you can actually, you'd have to go to my YouTube. So. Um, if you go to my website and right click, it'll give you the YouTube link for that video and then you can comment on it. Uh, but be honest, you know, if, 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 if you don't like it, I don't like it, that's okay. But um, I need to have more comments so that more people know about uh, who I am and how I can serve them. So thank again you all for coming. I'm happy to serve you. I will see you tomorrow. We're going to open it up again to more soul questions. Those that didn't get their questions answered, come early, 2 o'clock. And, uh, but if I see you soon enough, I'll, I'll try to make sure I take care of you tomorrow if I didn't take care of you today. Okay? And welcome, Jolene. Sorry I didn't see you until now. Come tomorrow. Okay? Same time, same place. Come one hour earlier, Jolene. <laughs> That'll make a big difference. All right. See you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>